Hi guys, welcome back to our video. So I just finished a group VHRT mission and at the last mission location I destroyed a Valkyrie and two Hurricane. And guess what? We have an Aegis Reclaimer right here among those enemies. So that's something new to uh, 3.19 I think. So I am going to try to capture this Reclaimer by self-destruct. Alright, ready? Eject. Ejection initiated. Shields down. Ooh, there we go. I hope he will uh, stand still. So it's 50-50. Sometimes he will keep moving, sometimes he will stand still. Oh, there we go. My ship is destroyed. Let's see if he will stand still or not. Oh, looks like uh, he's standing still. All right. So this is a unexpected fishing trip. Spontaneous fishing trip. Let's say that. Oh, it's very pretty. The background. The moon. The reclaimer. And me. <gasps> oh. Open. Why it's not opening? Good weapon, let's see. Oh! We did it! Okay, so that's the way. Nice! This reclaimer is ours. And guess what I am going to do? If, you, if you've seen uh, my previous videos, you know I'm going to switch out those weapons. Alright. So, this guy is over here. Shoot him. Oh, there we go. If you don't have a reclaimer, you can actually fish a reclaimer like this. And then use uh, the reclaimer to do your own salvage. But the thing is, because you don't own this ship. Once you finish salvaging, you have to transfer those cargoes into your own ship in order to sell them. So this is also a way. If you don't own a reclaimer, you don't want to buy it or don't want to grind it in game. So this is another way of fishing a reclaimer. So we now got an NPC reclaimer from the Nine Tails. And then top turret, I think there's only one turret that works. Top turret is, uh, let's uh, give him a name. Let's say Todd. So we got Bob, right? Remember Bob? It's a colorless black. And the J family with a uh, retaliator, which J family are lazy families. So five of five members, they don't do nothing. So Todd, let's see how Todd is gonna do. All right, Captain Fox is here, and uh, she brought her redeemer. We are going to switch out. Todd's weapon with the Redeemer's AD-5B. Let's see. <laughs> well, apparently there is an enemy uh, somewhere. So Todd's working on it. Oh, Todd got it. Good job. All right. Captain's landing. And we're going to switch out those uh, size 5 guns. Okay, let's remove this weapon first. Nice, one size five removed. Okay, second size five removed. Well, the wind has pushed the reclaimer away. Oh, oh, there we go. We got one. This one should be easy. Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, wow, there we go. Two AD-5Bs. Todd got his weapon. All right, captain's on board. This is a little bit difficult to do this operation, but we did it. So we put two AD-5Bs in the top turret where Todd is at. And uh, Todd will be our gunner. If we need an extra gunner, we have Captain Foxy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see. If Todd will have the unlimited ballistics or not. Enemy in sight. Alright, Todd, are you ready? It's your show. Give him hell. Oh, missile, 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 missile. 
Alright, Todd, I've given you the best weapon in game. The rest is up to you. Don't disappoint me. Huh. Come on. Whoa. We're getting shot pretty bad over here, so... Alright, Captain's gonna... Help a little. Okay, Captain's uh, killed that one. Little bit weird with Todd here. Oh, he's shooting now. That's good. I think it's because those are the uh, fight life fighters. Now Todd is shooting. I think this uh, size 5 is best to go against uh, not the light fighters, but uh, ooh, missiles. Shield. But heavier ship. Oh, Todd killed one. Oh, Todd is shooting. Really good over there. Oh, another missile hit. This will shut you up. Oh, yeah, it's better to bring Todd for a heavier ships. Those light fighters, it's very difficult to hit. Spam the trigger, you don't have to point and shoot, point and shoot. You hear me, Todd? Oh, okay, that one is destroyed. Now, you can uh, focus on the warden, right? Yeah, you can uh, safely assume that uh, Todd now has unlimited ballistics, AD5B ballistics. But uh, he doesn't shoot, he doesn't spam the trigger. He's just playing, toying with his food. Todd shoots the ballistics as if he's shooting the, the size 5 repeaters. Oh, good job, Todd. Wow, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Well, here we go, guys. Unlimited AD5B. And Todd. Well, he's not done. He's still shooting. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's do one more test. The ultimate test. Let's do the ERT. Let's go against the hammerhead. I know your trigger finger has been itchy to shoot this big boy. So here's your chance. Let's go. Weapons free, Todd. Weapons free. Oh. We're getting shot at. Come on. Just spam your trigger. We're getting shot pretty bad. Well, we have unlimited ballistics and Todd is savoring it. He only spam a little bit at a time. Yeah, this is a little bit disappointing, Todd. Um, you have the best weapon and you have unlimited ammo. Now you're shooting like this. Come on, man. Just spam those trigger. Like this, yes, like this. Oh, yes, exactly. That's what I'm talking about, man. Ah, uh, not again. Yes, like this. This is a very long fight. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny to see. Come on, Todd. <laughs> you are misusing your weapon. You have the most powerful Gatling gun 
it oh yes there we go like that yes exactly that's what I'm talking about man yes yes oh now you're back to sleep huh uh, where are you shooting man Wow look at these AIs <laughs> I really wish when we have those AI blades, they don't shoot like this. I I am going to cut your pay in half if you shoot like this. All right. Well, Captain's going to help you shoot this guy because I only have six percent of water left. But you know what? I think Todd. You see, Todd is keep shooting those turrets areas every single turret. In the beginning, he's shooting the back turret, and then he's shooting the top front and top back turret. I think he has destroyed all those turret gunners. I think maybe that's what he's programmed to do, even though he shoots really bad. Because the hammerhead is not shooting back anymore. Before, it's still shooting back. Right now, it doesn't. So, I think that's what Todd did. So, he's not entirely useless. Ooh, nice hits, Todd. Nice hits. Nice, just like this. Wow, well, I think the hammer should be dead by now. Killed it. Well, let's get out of here. The tourists are shooting at us. Well, that didn't take long. Maybe uh, five hours. <laughs> this is pretty. Yeah, but I don't have the time to enjoy the view. I have only 2% of water. I am just going to log out from here. I'm going to leave Tad here. So, well, we did it, guys. Uh, we have unlimited AD5B ballistics on top of this uh, NPC reclaimer if we can catch it. You can have it too. Try it out. It's really fun. But the thing is, the AI performance is not as ideal. I think the best performance is Bob on the Colorless Black. Yeah, he just spammed that trigger forever because he knows that he has unlimited ballistics. Even after the battle, he keeps shooting. But Todd is like eh, half sleep. So I'm gonna cut his pay in half for sure. I'm not gonna fire him because sometimes he does work magic. I think for those uh, hammerhead, he first destroyed all those turrets because in the beginning, the hammerhead was shooting at us. And you can see he's, uh, he's aiming at those turrets in the beginning. Uh, once he disabled one, he's shooting at the other one. So I think that's what uh, these NPCs are programmed to do. Uh, when you are fighting those AIs, if you're in a hammerhead, they are probably programmed to shoot at your turrets first. So once he disabled one turret, and then he's moving on to the next one. So e eventually Todd completely disabled every single turret on the hammerhead. Yeah, but uh, it does take us a while to destroy the hammerhead because uh, he's shooting in a haphazard way. Well, he has the most powerful weapon in the game, the unlimited AD-5B ballistics, yet he's misusing it. So, what do you guys say? What should I do with Bob? I mean, Todd. Alright guys, so thanks for joining me on this fishing trip. If you can, you should try, really try, to fish a, a reclaimer and then switch those two size 5s to 85Bs and fly it around just to have a little bit of fun because in 3.19, everything is possible. Yes! <laughs> I'm half joking, but this is really fun. 3.19, hit the jackpot. The small one. All right, guys. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow at Invictus Lunch Week. Have a great evening. Bye, guys.